we continue to develop the features of containers in Antares universe. Recently, we've added the ability to change their colors, which is a good design aid. Let me show you. Here's a graph which has a couple of color-coded containers. It is possible to define any color at all through a gamma selector. You need not choose out of a mere few. It's possible to set a default color for a saved container, and it's also possible to adjust that color as you see fit within your projects. You can duplicate a block and get a copy with that same exact color setting. Color settings are therefore a block property, not just some separate metadata. Here you can see the gamma palette from which colors can be chosen. Any combination of RGB plus of course brightness can be selected. It's just as sophisticated as the color selector in say Photoshop. The most interesting feature of block color settings that we've added, however, is the ability to change block colors dynamically as the program is being executed. This feature is obviously very useful for visual monitoring of your code. Let's take a look at how it occurs. We've hit play and the simulation is starting. Well, this will take a little while, so please bear with it. And there, we can see some stuff already. As our Mac moves and as our code executes, the green block turns yellow. And there it is again, if you didn't notice the brief one earlier. Once the Mac stops moving around, the block turns back to its idle green. As you may have guessed, this is a block which controls the Mac avatar within the in-game world, specifically its movement function. There, watch it move a bit more. Colors are also depicted on our, on our mini-map. We can see the execution of our entire code at any moment in time thanks to this feature, together with its color indication. Well, let's take a look at how this works. To do so, we'll appear inside the guts of our container. Here is the deceptively complicated graph that performs the functions of the go to point block. Inside this code, we have a couple of FSM activators movement arrived and movement go to target. When they become activated, they trigger the container settings color blocks. Giving the Mac a move command toggles the block yellow whereas an affirmative check on the max position toggles it green. Clicking on the color properties of these blocks brings up the colors they set. Here, see how the blocks run through as the command is triggered again. These blocks can be found inside the containers folder under workflow. I am of course referring to the uh, logic block hierarchy from which we extract our toys into our playground, this one. Well, let's head back to our main graph on that note. Our universe is becoming larger, better equipped, and dare I say more interesting with each update, as you can see once again. Thanks for watching.